Carcinoid lung cancer is a type of neuroendocrine tumor that can be found or located anywhere in your body. My primary tumor was found in my lungs. Uh, no one knows exactly why people get carcinoid lung cancer, but it's thought that it may be due to environmental or genetic reasons. Um, carcinoid lung cancer is known as the non-smoker's lung cancer. Generally, lung cancer is associated with smoking. Carcinoid lung cancer is considered rare. About approximately 10,000 people per year within the United States are diagnosed with carcinoid lung cancer. And in the population of 300 million people in the United States, it's considered a rare cancer. I did not know specifically that I had developed carcinoid lung cancer. I just had a lot of difficulty breathing when I would go walking or running or playing tennis. And it was difficult for me just to manage every day getting up and having the energy to do what I needed to do throughout the day. And I would go to my doctor and they would run tests on me um, and everything turned out fine. They couldn't figure out what was going on until one day years later I would spontaneously spat up blood at my doctor's office. They then rushed me to the emergency room and performed a CT scan on my lungs and that's where they found a large tumor. And then I went through a procedure called a bronchoscopy where they looked in my lungs and tried to uh, take a portion of the tumor out. That's how I was diagnosed initially. Cancers in general are staged just to denote or give the doctors and the patients an idea of the prognosis for the specific disease. So someone is diagnosed with stage one. Generally that means that um, that person has a better prognosis with the cancer. If someone is diagnosed, let's say one, two, three, four, four being the highest, that person or that cancer is deemed to have a poor prognosis, which usually means that there's been involvement of other major organs in the body and that can lead to death. Living with carcinoid lung cancer is not easy, but it, it's extremely important that if you're diagnosed with any type of cancer that you educate yourself. You do your own research, read as much as you can read, talk to support groups, talk to doctors, and that's what I did. Um, actually talk to doctors locally and talk to specialists and spoke to people at the NIH just to get more information on what I should know and what I should expect. But my best information came from support groups, specifically carcinoid support groups who had already had their diagnosis and had been dealing with it for years and had already gone through surgery. And they're the ones who explained to me where I could find doctors who are specialists because this is such a rare cancer, it's hard to find someone who actually understands or knows what to do with it. Carcinoid lung cancer does stop you from doing certain things. Um, you have to learn how to manage the tumors that remain because not all of the tumors can be removed. So you learn to live with the disease. So that means that, for instance, I can't go on roller coasters any longer. I can't go running. I can't play tennis. Anything that puts a lot of stress or increases the adrenaline in your body is something that you have to avoid just to be able to maintain and not go into crisis, which is very dangerous. At this time, there is not a cure for carcinoid lung cancer, and I hope one day that there will be a cure for carcinoid lung cancer. There aren't any specific treatments since carcinoid lung cancer does not respond well to chemotherapy or radiation. If anything, it allows the tumor to grow. Chemotherapy and radiation is specific, a specific treatment for fast-growing tumors, and this is a slow-growing tumor. But hopefully one day there will be a, a cure, and in the meantime, you learn to live hopefully, and you surround yourself with people who are positive, and you remain positive always.